guys! What you doing? Bro, what do you want? Uh... Bro, get out! Asa, 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 asa! Asa, asa! Close the door! Come here! Come here! Come here! Hey guys, I built an automatic door closer. So if you guys didn't already know, I love to build things. Here's a little montage of my most amazing, awesome spec to see guys. Look at my room. Look at my tech workstation, guys. Isn't this awesome? Now I could just go to my brother's room next door and ask him to politely close the door next time he leaves, but... Why would I do that? Why? 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 So instead, I'm gonna be building an atrocious tech invention to solve this problem because that... That, that's what I always do. So to get started, I went through my room and looked for all the parts I needed. Breadboard. Ew, there's food scraps on it. Mm. Wires. Ultrasonic sensor. Arduino Uno. Oh, what, what's this? Just my average size pneumatic air cylinder. All right, guys, so here's my plan. I got myself the, this pneumatic air cylinder, and I'm going to be using it to go like this. As you can tell, it just went from 12 inches to 24 inches. Just like me when I'm with your mom. Now these air cylinders have a lot of potential uses. Some of them being good. It's working! It's working! And some of them being very inappropriate. Very, very inappropriate. Now if you just connect this to a strong enough air compressor, this can very much easily close the door. That is not- <laughs> So in order to detect the person, I'm gonna be using this ultrasonic se Hold on. Alright, so in order to detect the person, I'm gonna be using- But this is essentially like a pair of eyes, except it can't see. And it uses ultrasonic waves to detect distance. Huh? But essentially, it sends out ultrasonic waves and it reflects back from the object, and then it measures the time it takes for the wave to come back, and then that's how it figures out the distance. That's- that's pretty awesome. Now to check whether the door is closed or not, I'm gonna be using this read switch over here, as the name suggests. It's a switch. If you look at the very top there, there's a glass capsule, and inside there are two metal contacts. And if you bring a magnet close to the glass capsule, it causes the magnets to touch each other, because they're attracted to each other. And when a person is attracted to someone else, they start touching each other. I'm gonna be putting this on my door, so that when the door closes, the magnet will be touching it, and when it's open, it won't be. And then using this Arduino, I'm gonna code a simple program that detects whether a person has left the room and not closed the door. And if they haven't, it will activate this pneumatic cylinder, so that the door will be closed. Let's get to work. Now the first thing I did was wire up the components, which again consists of a relay, an ultrasonic sensor, and a read switch. Now the relay is used to control the pneumatic cylinder, and I explained this in another video and I'm not gonna explain it again, so let me just roll the clip. So on the side we have a normally closed side and a normally open side. So when an electrical signal is sent, the contact is pulled from the normally closed side to the normally open side. So this relay is basically connected in a series circuit with this power supply supplying power to this pneumatic solenoid valve. And when this pneumatic solenoid valve is applied 24 volts, it switches the flow of air going into it. And that's basically all you guys need to know. Long story short, it's an electrical switch you can control with an Arduino. But what does switching the flow of air in a pneumatic solenoid do? It extends or retracts the pneumatic cylinder by pushing air through one of the two ports. Lastly, the coating part. The part I love. Oh. The least. So essentially, I'm constantly checking if someone walked in or not by using the ultrasonic sensor. And if they did, I have a variable called person inside that says the true or false depending on whether the walk-in was an enter or an exit. Then using the door open variable, which is again determined by the read switch, we can tell whether the door is open. And basically, if the door is open and the person left the room, it triggers the relay, which extends the pneumatic cylinder, which slams the door shut. I'm not even kidding, it took me 30 minutes to record that voiceover because I can't stop stuttering. morning fatty here's my read switch and i'm literally just gonna scotch tape it onto my door now you see guys when it comes to making well-designed projects that is not my forte i just like the hot glue and super glue and duct tape and scotch tape all right so it's finally set up and now it's time for this part which i really hate because i'm really just annoying all my neighbors <laughs> Reenact how it would be like for a person to walk in. Oh, hi guys! It's Joyce's room. Let me just walk in. All right, let me just leave Joyce's room now. Yeah, you dummy! Close the door behind. 
Now with everything working perfectly fine, I cleaned it up and it was finally ready. So as you guys can tell, I have everything set up, so let's test it. Oh look, an awesome room. Let me just enter. Look, I'm inside the room, but how about I exit without closing the door? Now that I'm in the room again, let me exit, but this time let me properly close the door. Baba boy. Frick, I was too slow. La la la, what a beautiful day. I'm just gonna enter the room real quick, you know? That is not... La la la, what a beautiful day. Looks like I'm entering my room real quick, you know? Hmm, I've spent enough time in my room. Let me exit now. I did it. All right, brother, follow me. I got something to show you, okay? Eh? What? Just follow me, okay? Okay. Okay, it's ready, and... All right, you can come in now. Man, what is this? You know, you have a problem of coming into my room and never closing the door after you leave. So, uh, basically, I just want you to leave my room now. And don't close the door. You know what? You're used to doing that anyways, right? Yeah, of course. Ah, what the f***? Bro, what was that? What is this? Yo, chill, chill. chill. Do you think you disrespect me like this? Chill, it's Closing just... the door? <laughs> chill, it's just a funny tech invention, bro. It's not that, it's not that deep. Ma! Ah!